Hey, what is up guys? It is me, Zayden, and welcome back to another video on the channel. And today, guys, we are going to be doing a tour of the military bunker that me, Snivy, and Panda all built. So, hello everybody. Hello. So, as you can see, I'm wearing my camo armor, so yeah, that's fun. So, should we start the tour then? Should we? Sure. Should we start with Panda's car park? You can lead the way. I don't have an elytra. And guys, I know what you're going to say, don't worry, we will definitely play Murder Mystery on this map. Maybe not soon, but it will definitely come out at some point, so. Okay, so you have an entrance over here with, like, two vans. Hello. Yeah, guys, look, here is the big box. Just, uh, looks very much like a car park. Yeah, there is a lot of secret entrances to stuff in this, like, there is, like... Oh, you can actually get in the car. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Then over here, we'll drive to the I don't know if you can actually get in this stuff. Then there's go. some storage compartments. Oh, if you go up here, up to a very high tech ladder, you can and there's go into the business. A little watchtower. Hello! Why that piston? What is that down there? So, let's actually go into the actual bunker, and we've got some B guards. And so you go in, you have to go through like his little security check. And then there's a reception area, a few couches, and we actually made a... Right here. Oh, no, that's a water fountain. So I worked on this lift, and it actually, well, I mean, if you press the button, you're teleported to that floor. It's not very... Yeah, there we go. Snowy, and there's Panda. So I did most of this floor, and, I mean, Snivy, Snivy did uh, something, we'll show. So this is the kind of living area. Yeah. Why is that like, why do I go slowly? Oh, um, it's like, because... Uh, who's the idea wasn't to put slime under the carpet? Uh, because, like, if this was a communal area, gum would probably have been, like, stomped into the floor, so... I don't think that might have gum would have been stomped into the floor. <laughs> so, <laughs> Snivy, you built this, didn't you? Huh? Yeah. And... A banner there. Oh, that's supposed to be like a cushion. Uh, right, more toilets. And then there's a kind of way round. This just leads to the other part of the bunker. But anyway, so uh, if we go through just past here and there's like a pool table and stuff and a bar there. So as you can see, the, all the rooms are the same. So I'll just show you one. So there's the kind of bunk beds and stuff, a little couch, a TV area, a seat and some and a kitchen area. And I'm definitely not going to show you all the secret passageways, but... Here's one just for an example. It's I think it's fairly obvious that it's there. So there is also a vent system. I won't be telling you how to get in there, but basically you go in water and then you can crawl through these bits and it's really cool because it links up to like different parts like you can get out there and stuff. It's, it's really cool. So this is the locker area uh, and there's a changing room that I believe Snivy built. I don't think you're allowed cameras in there. Oh, sorry. And then there's toilets and a like water fountain thing. And the gym and swimming pool is this way, and we'll be touring that later. So I think that's pretty much everything for this floor, isn't it? Have I forgotten anything? No, I don't think so. All right, let's go to the artificial garden. Oh, I'm still invisible. Yeah, there you are. So I built most of this. There's a here's the oxygen supply meter, so you can turn it on and off just so like there's oxygen circulating and stuff. A few trees, and then there's a waterfall here. And through here, there's a beautiful, lush, artificial garden that I built. And there's some lush. benches, there's some grass, hills. Snivy, what happened to your head? This is not okay. Oh my god. The Steve head does not go on your head well. I want to take the photo. I want to take a photo. Not better. Oh, now he's just a floating Steve head. Anyway, so that's the sun I built. And then through here, this is a more kind of functional garden. So this is where they grow all the food, uh, a, few, a bit of livestock to, um, well, we won't talk about what we they do, what happens to them. But the, the good thing about this bunker is that there's loads of ways to get to all the floors, like loads of just like small ways. So there's a staircase here, which brings us to the next floor, which is the artificial garden. Sorry, I just... With <laughs> the luxury room floor and we took lots of inspiration from zk Zachatron's from titanic. yeah from zakatron's titanic with these tables be the beautiful design yeah yeah he will and very, very soon oh oops i just 
yeah, but there's like loads of food, ovens and stuff, a little fridge. And then the luxury rooms, I've kind of done two different designs for these. So this is one of them. This is like an open plan thing and two people would be in this room. So two, because these are like for the generals and stuff. So um, yeah. And then uh, we've got another room design here, which is the kind of non-open plan room. So you've got a living area, kitchen, a bedroom, and this would, just, this would be for one person. So this is kind of like a cross between a military and a doomsday bunker. Would you agree? Because there's some things that probably wouldn't be in a military bunker. Yeah, I guess. So, I'll let's... Just go down to the best floor. This is 100% the best pool. Yeah, wait, should we, should we go to the, should we go to the swimming pool and gym first? So, this way uh, leads to the swimming pool and wait, gym. Where did you guys go? We went down to the swimming pool and gym. And oh, yes. then the changing rooms are this way, but this just well, leads, done. this leads back up to the floor all the way there, but so you can access it. As I said, there's lots more than two ways to get to every floor and oh, stuff. So, so there's a little... Uh, so this is a gym that Panda made. And it has a oh, secret nice. door. Looks nice. Ooh, spooky. You'll have to wait to see. Why Why that is there just creepy. Why is there just a hole in the wall? Because the redstone yeah. won't commit. Panda, them. you seriously, like... The redstone, we won't commit. Oh, actually, I could put um, solid blocks there or something. Anyway, so... Panda, through... you could, like, literally, there's so many holes in through here is a uh, swimming pool. I made this. It's just a little cool thing. It's just a simple, very basic swimming pool, but it looks good. And oh, okay, Panda's just doing some techie stuff. And should we go over to the laboratory then? Yeah, no, we got the amazing storeroom. But... Oh, yeah, Panda built this storeroom. I think we've lost Panda. Uh, Wait, oh my god, I want to teleport. Yeah, I know. What the heck? What storeroom did I build again? So, uh, this is Panda's lab. Yeah. I'm experimenting on hose. Oh, goodness. Why have I just... Oh, okay, I just got a load of hose. I've been doing lots of experimenting on hose. Right. There's kind of like a dry landscape here. And also some random slime and honey. I don't really know what that's for. And it's again, this is Panda's right storeroom. There's like areas for weapons to go on, stuff like that. But right, now we need to go. Now we need to go see the actual best, the best room in the whole facility. I think you're just saying that because you built it. No, I think I'm just saying that because it's Peng. Got that little disinfectant thingy. Very nice, got, very like, nice. Power source for the lab. Nether portal. Vents up there and down there. Ooh, there. it's exciting. So yeah, we have just done a few like test games of not murder mystery, but we've done like hide and seek and stuff, and it is so fun. There are so many ways you can go to like escape, and yeah, so it should be really fun to play on. So I think that's pretty much everything. Yay. So um. I really do hope you enjoyed this tour and are looking forward to us playing Murder Mystery on it because that would be super fun. This project took ages to do, so thank you to Lemon, Snivy and Panda for helping me with this. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please do remember to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. But for now, I'll see you guys later. Bye! Subscribe and you'll get free V-Bucks.